goodness, there seems to be some interest in fourth. So I thought I'd give you another little glimpse into fourth. Um, let's go to uh, our F83 implementation. So we haven't talked about variables yet. Um, so we can um, put numbers on the stack, print them out. Um, but what if we want to save a number? Uh, we can create a variable. So variable foo. So now we have a variable called foo. We can say uh, one foo store. Now the variable foo has the number one in it. Um, if you say foo print, you get a very strange number. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, that's because, let's go to hexadecimal, that's actually the location in memory where the value num uh, 1 will be stored. Uh, 5f62 in memory is the location of that variable. So you have to say fo uh, foo fetch print, and that gives you the value that's stored there. So uh, foo has the pointer. And if you want to then go examine the contents of that pointer, you need to put in the at sign. Um, let's create another variable. Uh, uh, foo fight. So now we have um, two variables and um, Foo Fight lives at a different location. So we can actually go look at those locations. Um, if we do a 5f, oops, 5f 100 dump. Uh, dump is a uh, uh, byte and ASCII dump of those locations. And if we look over here on the left, we can look for um, ASCII. And we can see right here, uh, the ASCII foo, and underneath it is uh, foo fight. Um, so uh, it's actually adding to memory and putting things in there. Um, so if we look at um, foo, which is here, foo, it then is followed by a uh, thing. Uh, which probably says it's a variable, but I'm not sure. And then we have zero, 01. So let's go back and change um, the value of foo to say, uh, say make it 22 foo store. And then uh, let's go to our dump again. Here's foo. And here's our 22. So it is uh, change this address. Um, we can also kind of look at the structure of the um, dictionary. We're looking at the dictionary here. Everything is built into the dictionary, even variables and constants and stuff. They go right into variable into the dictionary. Everything goes into the dictionary. Create you can create arrays and everything. They they go into uh, into the dictionary. If we look at foo fight, which is here. Uh, it ends in the letter T. So you can see here, this is uh, F O O F I G. So this is, these are the um, ASCII characters for Foo Fi. And then um, the very last um, entry of a name is the ASCII value with the upper bit set. So we have a D4 here. <clears throat> so the upper bit is set. Otherwise, it's uh, ASCII. And again, we have uh, <clears throat> 7B, which probably says it's a variable. And the 0, 1 is just, must be just defaulted to. It's uh, loaded with 1. OK. But what I really want to see is if we can see the, the uh, pointers in the dictionary here. Um, let's see, where are we? 5F, let's look for a 5. Ah, here's a 5F. Ah, okay. All right. 
So, so in this particular, we, we looked at fig forth before for the dictionary. Every implementation is going to be different, but here we have the, the foo. Up in front of it, we have um, uh, 5f5a. And that's going to be, if it's not foo fight, we're going to go to the next entry if we're going to look things up. So let's look at um, 5f5a. 5f5a is right here. Oops, right here, sorry. Um, and this one is pointing to 5eb8, 5eb8. Oh, it's not on the screen here. Okay, so F E zero zero. What was that again? Remember that? Uh, it was five E B eight. Five E B eight is here, and that's getting us here to background is uh, the word, but this points to 5DED. Uh, so let's go there, 5DED, 5DED is here, which is dot resume, does that make sense? And then that one is five. Anyway, you get it. It keeps. You can keep going backwards. And uh, in the um, uh, ASCII, you can see there are other uh, variables. Here's trace. Here's unnest. Uh, there's anyway. You can kind of play around and 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 look at look at forth using the dump dump command. Um, and I'm not sure how to. Um, go about finding where the location of words are other than variables. Variables are easy. Uh, you can just type them out and you get the five. Remember to go into hexadecimal or whatever. Um, that's that's easy to do. Uh, but other words um, like emit, let's see, see, emit. So here's another good word to know. C gives you the definition of emit. Um, so emit is a printing fetch, um, so that must be a variable. It's fetching a variable. It's looking for a branch. Um, it's doing an output to console. Um, so anyway, you can kind of look at how things are defined by using the C command. Um, C, um, what's another good word? Uh, oh, let's look at dump. Dump's a great one. C dump. Dump is defined as base fetch. So it's going to look to see what base you're in. Um, it's then going to like throw that up on the stack by doing a rotate. Um, and then it's going to set its own base to hex. It wants to do things in hex. And then it's going to do a dot head. Um, so what is dot head? Dot head. Dot head does that little printing of the top of the, um, uh, when you ever do a dump. This is just the header on top of the dump. And then it's looking at some bounds. It's then going to do a loop. So it's going to do a loop for one line. Um, that probably bounds, uh, figures out what one, what one line is. Um, it's going to look to see if you pressed a key to abort. It's then going to uh, loop. And um, it's going to do, inside the loop, it's going to do this I d l n and i happen to know that stands for dump line so that's one line so we can look at that c d -N -D -L -N. so this is the thing that dumps one line it does um, the hexadecimal first and then it does the ascii um, you can kind of see the ascii at the end here uh, this is kind of the ascii part it's uh, doing a c fetch which is a character fetch and then an emit print uh, so it's going to take the value that's stored in memory and do it emit 
uh, print to uh, print to the screen uh, with that ASCII value. So you can kind of see that. The uh, so that's this back half of the line. Um, the front half of the line, uh, all of this stuff, is done by done by. Where's the loop up here? Duplet spaces. Uh, so it's putting in this thing, then it's putting in two spaces it's here, space, space, and then it's doing a uh, da, 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 bounds. Uh, it's doing another space. So D.2 is probably doing this portion here. Oh, yeah. It does that, D.2, then it does a space. That's this. And then it does another d.2. So uh, if we do a c d.2, yeah, it's another loop. And again, here we're doing a character fetch and uh, a, uh, a dot two, which I guess is a a weird print. Oh, it's a two character hexadecimal print. It's kind of a weird thing. Anyway, there you go. Um, anyway, a little more insight into the structure of things, uh, a little insight of how variables work, and um, yeah, have fun with worth.